Hi there. I know it's been a while since I've uh, done a video. I haven't been fishing much at all. I've been working quite a bit. And uh, tomorrow I'm actually going to be going to the potholes uh, open. Um, it's the first time me going there that early. I uh, got invited by, invited by my friend. And, uh, you know, we're going to take his boat, which is going to be different for me because I'm used to obviously fishing off my boat. And, uh, I mean, I've been the backseater before, but just uh, never at a tournament. been fun fishing. Uh, and it's neat sometimes being in the back seat because you don't have to, have to do as much work. You just kind of, you know, sit back and relax and just fish. Um, you know, but being a back seater, there's there's some rules, okay? Uh, one, you want to you wanna follow these rules because you want to be able to be invited back. And, and that's the whole thing. If you don't have a boat, you know what I mean? You, you, you're going to be uh, either stuck on, on land or, or, you know, uh, either fish with other people. And, um, you know, it made me think after getting myself organized here and what what are these rules and, and what people should follow based on my experience as a backseater and, and having people in behind in the back of my boat um, rule number one communication you know talk to your boat or talk to them prior to going out you know find out what type of fish a fisherman they are if you don't know who they are that well um, are they a power fisherman are they finesse fisherman are they a deep water offshore structure or they like to flip and and you know are they gonna blast uh, through the lake uh, you know in high speed on their trolling motor uh, making a million casts or, or, or you know sit in one spot uh, all day type of deal so kind of give you an idea of who they are what to expect um, and because it, it's going to help you to go lead into uh, rule number two which is uh, preparation uh, you know do some research do some research on the lake the time of year you know uh, are they in the spawn post spawn you know pre-spawn mode um, are they going to be in deep water you know how deep is this lake, how clear it is, things like that. Um, that way uh, you have a, a, a better understanding of, of what to bring um, because you're going to be very limited on space and uh, you know, you're not going to have the luxury of just having all the stuff with you. Okay, uh, which leads to the, rule number three, uh, which is organization. Um, again, you have to be strategic. So once you figure out what type of fisherman um, your boater is, where you're going, what time of year, you're only going to be able to you know bring a few rods with you you're not going to have uh you know to eight nine ten rods with you and uh with me going to the potholes near i got you know five rods i got four casting rods and one spinning rod and uh, a multi or not a multi but a yeah multi-purpose rod is going to be very helpful that way you're not just you know it's not so specific for that uh, technique um but you know you're not going to again have a lot of rods with you um you're going to retie a lot more um and you know, have some of these uh, rod socks. It's gonna help with, you know, your line not getting tangled up and it's gonna save you a lot of time, a lot of headache. Uh, so as far as rods, you know, very limited, four or five rods, maybe six rods at the most. Um, tackle wise, you know, a bag. One little bag is all you're gonna need. You're not gonna need to bring a lot of stuff. Um, Cause again, you're not gonna have the space. So, you know, be organized, understanding what type of uh, water you're gonna be fishing. You know, I got line, I got my plastics here. I got, um, you know, this, this, uh, Ziploc organization bag that I got from Bass Pro a long time ago, uh, but it's got you know, my Senkos, my soft plastic, my jigs, spinner baits all in here, and uh, you know, make sure you have your own tools too. You know, make sure you have your own pliers, your scissors, and your scent things like that because you don't know what the boater's going to have, and, and you definitely don't want to you know just keep using their stuff. Um, so yeah, you know, be very strategic, um, be as minimal as have as minimal as possible because you're not going to have a lot of space with you. Um, so yeah, organize and, and, and be, prepared, be prepared, okay? Uh, goes to, you know, number four, uh, respect, respect uh, the boater, respect uh, their property, their boat, um, respect their base, their space, you know, if it's, uh, if you're in the back seat, you know, you're not going to cast in front of them, you know, uh, if it's a team tournament and you guys are up front, that's a different story, right? Uh, but don't do things like stepping on their seats, okay, if these seats aren't, cheap um, don't smoke i've seen people smoke um unless the boat is smoking and they say yeah it's okay for you to smoke um don't make a mess when you're eating um pick up after yourself uh you know when you're cutting your line your lures don't have it all over the place okay just pick up organize throw stuff away you know stuff it in a bag or whatever um, but you don't want to have clutter you don't want to have stuff all over the place okay so um again uh, these boats are not cheap um, you know, some of these are over a hundred thousand now. So you don't want to step on their boat. You know, or there might be a rock, you know, uh, underneath your shoe there that could scratch up the gel coat. You know, try not to spill. 
you know stuff on on the, on the carpet. Um, so be very careful when you're when you're in somebody else's boat, um, and uh, you know it, it's going to go a long way as far as you know being invited back um, the next time. Um, and, and and the fifth rule uh, is be generous. Okay, help out when you can. You know, if, if they're wiping down their boat, wipe it down, help them wipe it down. If they're cleaning it up, if they're, you know, putting a cover on it, if they're, uh, help unload and load. Um, you know, at the end of the day, you know, you're going to have to pay for some stuff. You know, a launch fee, you know, offer to pay for the launch fee, offer to pay for some of the gas, um, offer to pay for uh, the campsites or split it at least, you know. Um, again, uh, this is not, uh, owning a boat is not, it's not cheap, it's expensive hobby. Um, you know, a little bit counts and if they take it they take it if they don't they don't okay so but at least make that offer okay um, and and that's gonna go a long way so if you follow these five rules um, you have a really really good chance of, of being invited back um, as a backseater if you don't have your own boat um, otherwise you're gonna be stuck in, on land um, and, and it spreads you know and the people are gonna talk hey man this guy here didn't help me with this didn't do this didn't do this and other members might not want to invite you um, you know if there's an event or something like that so um, pretty simple stuff um, something to keep in mind as a backseater um, and then when you have your own boat you'll understand what I'm talking about okay but uh, until then you know have fun enjoy it and uh, you know hopefully I can catch some fish tomorrow and and, uh, and have some fun actually not tomorrow but this weekend um, and we'll see from there so it's gonna be interesting being a backseater so okay talk to you later